Hi Gauchos, welcome to another week of UCSB TV. We are your source for information about on-campus events, gaucho sports, and local news. With midterm season coming to a close, be sure to check out one of this week's events. Let's head to Jared to hear more. I'm Jared, and I will be covering the events for this week. Let's take a look at what's going on. Tomorrow, May 15th, the Multicultural Center will be hosting a discussion led by Rink Sen about racial justice and democracy in the 21st century. The talk will confront issues of race, democracy, and the technological revolution and how we must adapt to create an equally sustainable nation. The talk will be held in the MCC Theater at 6 p.m. This Wednesday, May 16th, the MCC Theater will be hosting a special screen of Check It, a feature-length documentary about the black gay gang members struggling to survive in the violent neighborhoods of Washington, D.C. Be sure to stick around for a post-screening discussion with the Resource Center for Sexual and Gender Diversity. The film will start at 6 p.m. Stop by Campbell Hall this Wednesday, May 16th, at 7.30 p.m. to hear legendary rock climber Tommy Caldwell share his life story. He will be sharing the challenges he faced when he was preparing for free climbing, the El Capitaine's Dawn Wall. Also, this Wednesday, May 16th, the UCSB Percussion Ensemble will be presenting their annual spring concert. The concert, directed by Dr. John Nathan, will be held at the Lot Lehman Concert Hall and will begin at 7.30 p.m. This Thursday, May 17th, Lal Zimmon will be presenting his new article, Transgender Language Reform, Some Challenges and Strategies for Promoting Transaffirming Gender Inclusive Language. After presenting his work, Zimmon will be leading an audience discussion on how to use this language in a university setting. This, this enriching discussion will be head, held, sorry, held in the McCoon Conference Room at 4 p.m. Head to Embarcadero Hall this Thursday evening, May 17th, for UCSB's premier co-ed fraternity, Alpha Kappa Psi's second annual Refugee Benefit Show. All of the proceeds from the show will be donated to the United Nations Refugee Agency. The show will begin at 8 p.m. and will feature student performances and a special lecture from Pro Professor Hassan al Mohammed. Finally, this Thursday, May 17th, head to Campbell Hall at 8 p.m. to hear from Arturo O'Farrell perform with the Afro-Latin Jazz Orchestra. You won't want to miss out on this unique uh, blend of Afro-Caribbean Afro rhythm fused with jazz improvisation. The concert will start at 8 p.m. That's all for this week's news updates. And be sure to check out UCSB events page for more information on any of these events. Now, let's go to Celie with the news. Hi Gauchos, let's see what's happening at UCSB this week. The Daily Nexus reports that with the closing of the three-day AFSCME strike, the Associated Student Senate passed a resolution during their meeting on Wednesday, May 9th, in support of the UC Workers Union. The AFSCME decided to hold this three-day protest after being unable to reach an agreement on a contract with the UC. It is also reported that over 200 workers were present and marching over the three-day period and that this is the largest strike in UC history. In other news, The Bottom Line reports that Santa Barbara therapist Jenny Ambrose has launched an online platform for sexual assault survivors. The website, Map Your Voice, is designed to allow users to anonymously report incidents of sexual assault and receive support from other users. The website will also be used as a tool to gather data on sexual assault and violence that can be presented to political leaders. That's all for this week's news update. Now let's go to Kalisha with sports. Hey Gauchos, it's Kalisha with your weekly sports update. After waiting over a month to continue an unfinished 3-3 tied game against Pepperdine that was called for darkness back on March 27th, the baseball team lost in the bottom of the 11th with a walk-off home run from Pepperdine. The Gauchos then lost their regularly scheduled game 1-3. There's not a whole lot going on in the world of Gaucho sports this week. But the baseball team does take on CSU Bakersfield and Cal Poly for a three-game series. Head to ucsbgauchos.com for more information. Now back to you, Seely. Thanks for tuning in to another week of UCSB TV. You can find our videos posted on the Associated Students YouTube channel, on the UCSB TV Facebook page, and on Gaucho Space. Also, be sure to follow us on our Instagram account at as underscore UCSB TV. See you next time, Gauchos.